What's going up everyone on the internet? Thank you for tuning into our VZU videos and thank you for being a part of your day. And today I'm so excited to finally review the movie I've been waiting for all year long. Yes, finally we're reviewing Star Wars The Last Jedi. So here's my overall thoughts of the movie. When I saw this movie, I saw raw, untamed, pure awesomeness and something truly special. Okay, that was probably my worst Snoke impersonation, probably. But overall, I am very excited to review this movie. I have been waiting all year long for this. And I'm so excited to upload this video for you guys. So, and without giving any spoilers, I won't be talking about any spoilers. I'm just talking about the stuff that we saw in the trailers. And just general knowledge of the movie itself. So, let's just dive into the review. So one of the things I really do like about this movie is that how it's the continuation of the Star Wars saga. And this trilogy itself alone. And what I mean by that is that after you watch episode 7, you're left wondering, okay, well, what's going to happen with Rey, with Luke, with Poe, Finn, all the other characters we've already met in the seventh installment of the series. And when you watch episode 8, it just picks up right afterwards. I mean, you don't have to, like, it's like there's no time jump or anything. You just, me, just go boom, right into the action, and we're already picking up right where we left off. We've already said our goodbyes to Rey. Rey's already with Luke and Poe, Finn, and all the resistance fighters. They got their own stuff to deal with, and I love that how we immediately continue off this story, and there's not much of a big gap time between this and that. Not like in how Empire Strikes Back and New Hope, where there was a big time difference from, from there. And this one, we're probably thinking, okay, cool. We're immediately thrown into the action, and we're immediately, we're just hit the ground running on this, and it pulled it off perfectly. And one of the things I really like about just not just the movie itself but also in star wars in general is that how with every movie we always follow separate storylines with different characters and this one we're following uh, poe's journey while he's fighting the first order and we're following finn's story while he's with his new character named rose and they're on their own separate adventure and on top of that we're following ray's journey with luke and how she's trying to handle her training and becoming a jedi and it's really nice to see that how we as an audience we can watch our heroes in different scenarios and we can watch them like having their own little adventures while also coming together throughout the movies to kind of like cooperate into creating this big massive story that is just a wild ride from beginning to end. Now one of the things I really did like about the movie is the continuation story for Luke Skywalker and when you see the trailers when he's training Rey on the rocks and you see her meditating and her power with the force is too unstable it just cracks the boulder beneath her when that happens you see Luke in just pure terror because he, well, as he says in the trailer I seen this raw strength once before it didn't scare me then it does now now when he says that to Rey in the trailer we obviously know that he's talking about his nephew Ben Solo who ultimately became Kylo Ren and when that happens uh, Luke just like he just fell apart and he has no idea how to teach anybody anymore because he's afraid that if he does teach them they're going to turn bad just like how they did to Kylo Ren and that's what, that's what's great about when we saw it in the trailer is that he's kind of we feel like he's going to reject Rey because he doesn't want to fail anyone else again and that's what I loved about it. it's not only Rey's journey to becoming a Jedi but it's also Luke's journey in trying to become a better teacher and what also I uh, liked how in the movie that happened throughout the film is that we see that how Kylo Ren and Rey are both the yin and yang in the movie. And what I mean is that we see them how like coinciding with their masters and how like they're trying to deal with their training and dealing with their the, the struggles they're facing throughout the movie. And you see that how they're both they're both the opposites of one another, the light and the dark. And we see that how they are trying to become more than they can ever be and they want to be the best like uh, for Kylo Ren he wants to be just pure power and Rey he, she wants to be pure power too but for good reason she wants to protect the people she knows while Kylo's just doing this for himself and I like that I like how you see the, the two of them struggling and and in, in the trailer we see like like sh they're both searching for answers about themselves they both want to be better people in their own way like they want to do what they think is right for the galaxy now on a side note i know a lot of people are joking around with this but honestly i really like the porgs i am pro porg i'm pro porg nation and when we saw them on the screen for the first time everyone was just in awe everyone was everyone thought they were all cute and cuddly and there were some other people in the theater who thought mm, you know it'd be really cool it'd be cool if we saw Chewie eat one of them and that's what we kind of all speculated that when we saw this image right here and 
I won't spoil anything. I mean, there's nothing really heavy to spoil about the Porks, but other than the fact that they're just cute and adorable and they were made to sell toys for good reasons because I know all kids are going to love them. And firstly, they all they, they provide a good comedy relief. And it's nice seeing them on screen saying, oh, okay, every once in a while, yeah, we, every once in a while we need a Pork. And it's fun just to have like a nice moment of just pure happiness when we can just see like those little animals just running around wherever they're on, wherever they're on the island or whatever, running around, I don't know, a base for all we know. But it was nice seeing like how they had a small little tiny little hint of humor with some of the new animals in the movie. And I, I enjoyed it and hopefully everyone else enjoys the porks as well because they're, they're, honestly they're pretty cute and I'm pretty sure they'll sell a lot of merchandise based off of them. So overall, I really loved the movie. I had a wonderful time. Everyone who was in the theater was erupting in laughter and screaming at the top of their heads and having a blast watching the movie from beginning to end. And one of my favorite parts of the movie, it wasn't like an actual scene for the movie. It's what happened in the theater that made this experience so great. So what happened in the theater is I'm sitting in my seat and I have a family of four next to me. And there's a 10 year old kid, he's sitting next to me and there's one scene that's happening and I saw this kid and it looked like he was seeing this movie like maybe it looks like he was introduced to Star Wars a while back maybe like a year or two ago but he's just getting into it and so he has his hands on his face while his elbows are on his knees and he's sitting at the edge of the theater seat and his knees are just going like bum, 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 bum. they're tapping up and down up and down like a typewriter and he's just so excited and happy and just in shock at what is happening in this movie and watching that happen next to me that made me feel like so good because i feel like although this these movies are meant for the general public and we as star wars fans we think all oh, this is just for us because we are just so spoiled and we love star wars so much and i agree with that but i also think that these movies were also meant for children and so when I saw this kid having the time of his life watching episode 8 it made me think okay look this kid is gonna carry these memories with him for the rest of his life and he'll probably tell this moment to his kids and when show this movie to his kids when they're grown up and overall like this that moment really was special to me because I was able to watch this kid this 10 year old little boy just experiencing Star Wars in pure awe and I probably won't forget that forever and it was one of those moments where I, 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 would, I loved to witness. And on the final note, I really loved that how this movie paid respects to Carrie Fisher and the character Princess Leia and I loved how this movie focused around her more intentionally and it flowed fluently and perfectly throughout the film and I think that this film was the perfect send-off to Carrie Fisher and I think that when we saw the end of the credits and this is just the end of the credits the movie's already over the movie's already over is in the credits you see in loving memory of Carrie Fisher and when that happened everyone took a deep breath and were just happy to know that this movie paid respects to Carrie Fisher who gave us Princess Leia back in the 70s with episode 4 and I love how this movie was a great send off to her and hopefully when you watch this movie you can see that okay this is Carrie Fisher's final performance that we're seeing on screen and she delivers perfectly throughout the movie and that was the nice little cherry on top of this movie and I'm just glad that we were able to watch this movie and just enjoy it for what it is and enjoy the last time we will see Carrie Fisher so those were my overall thoughts of the movie and everyone had a good time this is a great movie i highly recommend you go see this movie because it's freaking star wars you can never go wrong with star wars and when you watch this movie you're gonna have a wonderful time and it's a great time to do it right now during the holidays the kids are coming out of school everyone's getting ready for to go to their holidays and festivities i think it's perfect for everyone to take their families their friends their loved ones to go see this movie and to have a wonderful and great time and you surely will not regret anything you're gonna love this movie from beginning to end so that's gonna do it with this video guys my overall question is what did you think about the movie did you have a great time watching it or is this something you plan on seeing in the near future let me know in the comment section below and be aware that this is a spoiler free video so try not to spoil anything on the comment section i'll see y'all next time with another brand new video and may the force be with you